Okay, let's see here. Back to the rolls. We are back here with the second half of this game. Uh, one of my vampires, if you remember, did um, get knocked out. That Count Evil Laughter there is still having a nice sit down. And one of my thralls did fall to sweltering heat. He lost a ghoul, a white, and a flesh golem. So, uh, I'll take it. He, however, still has plenty of players. Uh, I'm going to put my block in the middle. With a couple of thralls. I'll be looking to cage up on the right, I think. Or on, on the left, because his block uh, ghouls up there on the right. They do get an extra reroll. Kind of fine. Touchback. Cool. Um, I'm gonna give it to my to my vampire. Thank you. Not my not my thrall. Let's see. So how do I want to do this? So white here with block. Um, I'm kind of wanting to rush down that side. So I'm gonna throw this thrall in here. I don't really care about breaking his line so much. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, so maybe I do want to break his line. Um, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. No, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to shift. I'm going to shift left here. Always move the thralls first, if you're going to move them. That way the vampires have something to nibble on. I think I'm going to make this blitz. Eventually. Um, this vampire here. Probably the least important of him, so he's going to move there first. Next important, we want this vampire here, otherwise the cage is kind of useless. Very nice. We're not going to follow him up. Going to position him. Actually, that, that position's fine. We're going to stick the ball carrier right behind him. Now, is there any point in making any of these blocks? I think so, because the flesh golem's going to get two dies. That's fine, I'll just take that. No reason to waste a reroll on that. Mm-hmm. The AI is smart, so their most dangerous player is going to run down the field, get as far away from my ball carrier as possible, which is lovely. I'm fine with that. He's got strip ball, so he can knock it out really easily. The werewolf is going to get into my line, which is fair enough, um, but the frenzy's going to do him in. That's a really bad position for his werewolf, but it did break the line pretty nicely. Just really risky. Uh, that was a dodging zombie. No, no, he's he's definitely a zombie. I was just making sure he wasn't like a dead dark elf or something. That is really tempting right there, I tell you that. Um, I mean, that's a two-die block on a werewolf, so I can't really give that up either. Send up my thrall, first of all. Obviously, I'm not getting any good blocks there. Uh, this... Okay, so take the two-die block and the werewolf. That's fine. We will go ahead and follow that up. Because now... If I can get him there... And hopefully knock this white off the pitch. Oh, that's amazing. We don't want to follow that. That's an injury. That was a niggling injury, too, so that's really good if this doesn't... Uh, yeah, his regeneration failed, so that's really painful for him, actually. Um, if there's another 2 dot block and a werewolf, so I'm going to take that. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and follow him up. Obviously no decent blocks there. Um, but at this point, I can run... What is, oh, that, that zombie there. So 
I can run that blitz there. No reason to follow him into that, except now that I've blocked myself off. Uh, yeah, I, sh I should have followed. Really should have followed. I don't. I don't want to be there though. This is just a really awkward spot for me, honestly. Um. Yeah. This thrall is gonna run up here. This thrall is kind of in Deadville. We'll go ahead and throw that one dice block at the end with him. Throw that vampire up there. And might as well do that. Everything else is gonna be two die. So knock him away. I don't need to follow you. Ooh, that's really good. Two SPP for him. Oh, and this guy. Um might as well, right? Both down. Eh, fair enough. I probably didn't need to make that block, but I chose to. Um, that zombie is not really going to be that big of a deal. Even if he was free, he was, he was have to make that block there. He would have been able to get up in that area, but he wouldn't have really been able to do much because zombies are not exactly famous for their mobility. Uh, their flesh golem is just going to charge into three vampires, which I'm okay with. The problem with the werewolves, they do have claw, so that makes them uh, pretty pretty good against the vampires' uh, armor class. Sand up the thralls here. All right, they're all city. So that one around the side there. No reason for him to be on the ground. at the moment. I'm going to beat up this werewolf if I can. That's really good. Yes, we're going to follow that. <laughs> okay, then. That was a noise. Uh, we can punch the flesh golem. He has stand firm. I'm going to go ahead and use a reroll on that. Because I do have block, so that's, uh, that's a good result for me. I do have a blitz. I'm gonna go ahead and blitz the werewolf. Uh, that's fine, I've got a thrall here. So I can just follow it up. Excellent. In the action, bite the thrall. Yeah, I'm right there, so that's okay. Uh, they're auto, auto armor breaks, so <laughs> biting thralls can be unhealthy for the thrall. Throwing him there, and then we'll throw that thrall of the action there, and then I got a two deck block here. Won't bother following up, because then that frees up another thrall for me. It's not helpful for him, there's only good players all the way down the pitch. die blocks. I'm down. Go for it. I really want to get another injury on the werewolves, but probably not going to happen. Um, most of the team is pretty bashy. The only one that has crappy armor class is the ghoul. Predictably, can't really hit the ghoul. Alright. Most important block has got to be on the flesh golem here. I'm going to go ahead and let my block vampire do it again. There's no reason not to. I don't want him to follow it because I want him to stay in the tackle zone of that um, werewolf. We don't need to follow him up, and I want him to stay next to that vampire. Let me go ahead and beat up this world a little more. I don't need to follow up because I, I want to make sure this uh, follow carrier is super, super safe. 
I still have Blitz, we're gonna go ahead and use this two die block here. That's fine, push result. So I do want to get this guy in it. And we're gonna try to pick on this ghoul. Uh, likely? No. Possible? Yes. Yeah, we won't bother re-rolling that. Try to put him in a bad position, go ahead and end our turn. I'm gonna try to farm some more injuries. Alrighty. Stand up that thrall there. Nobody downfield for him. He's gonna batter this werewolf. But this time we'll go ahead and follow up. So I've still got the two die block here. Which is what I'm worried about. I'm gonna go ahead and make the block with my thrall here, because I do want to move my um, vampire up the pitch. Right there, so my thrall will go there. Oh. The claw means I don't want to take them both down. Run that thrall up the pitch a little more. Again, no reason to make these blocks. At this point, I've already won. I can score whenever I want. That is a dodging zombie. End match imminent. By that, you mean I have two turns. So I move my throw up and take a free two dice block on that zombie. Pushed. Whatever. Uh, that's a one die at the moment. But I do get a block in this crazy ghoul. I do manage to knock him down. Uh, that's a shame. Two die block there. I'm getting an annoying number of push results. I push him there because there's no way I win that anyway. Damn. Nothing but pushes. That's exactly why I didn't use my reroll earlier. It's one die. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, just move here. In my action, bite my thrall. Knock him out. Oh, jeez. Do for this one die block. Both down, that's fair enough. Double knockout. Oh well. Um, I still have a reroll, so I'm just going to go for the score and reroll it if I have to. Just because at this point, it's going to be really hard for me to get thralls up the field. Not really hard, but more difficult than before. We'll see if I if I can get some if I can get a thrall up the field. Maybe I can stall a little more. Um, this is this thrall here. I think I can stall a little more. So this is my 15th turn, so I just have to guaranteed score in the next round. Even if I don't, I win the game anyway. It's just for the extra SPP. Make sure he stays in the pitch. There's no reason to injury. 
No reason to chance the bloodlust on my vampire. So just leave him stood there. My only worry, never mind, I was gonna say my only worry is that werewolf dodging out. But even he would need support, and he couldn't get it. Okay. So I go for one hit here. No injury. I'm gonna move my thrall to the end zone. A chance for another hit here. This is my block player. Um, I go for one more hit here. Still no injury. Can still keep going for hits because I still have my thrall in the end zone. It's a knockout, nothing doing. And I still have one more block I can make. Now I'll save my reroll for extra money. Filtering heat lets them do stand up. For me, my two both stand up. Fair enough. Only one more go. Make sure I don't have any good players on my line of scrimmage. And by good players, I mean those who have scored. Gonna put my thralls in front. My vampires in the back. Accept that and just boot it. Cool. Oh, touchback. That's unfortunate. Does give it to his shitty ghoul. I am utterly confused. But just like that, tries the one die block, and there it goes, we'll skip the cinematics. Roll to five, no need to re-roll that. Alright, who's my MVP? Bringing Sexy back. <laughs> A random thrall, oh well. Flesh Golem got his. That was actually the, the stand firm Flesh Golems are, can be pretty good. Alrighty. One injury there for them. Their white niggling injury. Uh, I do have a death, but U2 is not that big of a deal. Uh, Gouge die for missing next game for Forlorn. Also not that big of a deal. You kind of expect your thralls to get injured. Alright, no levels from this game, and uh, peace.